Hi everyone, it's Erin Cathcart from GourmetFrugality.com and today for my video blog I wanted to give you a little peek inside my stockpile. I keep my stockpile in my basement and uh, it consists of laundry products, dish products, cleaning supplies, toilet paper, uh, toiletries, canned foods, dry food such as pasta, rice. So get started. This, th these are all my laundry detergents. I have enough laundry detergent to last my family for over two and a half years if we did eight loads a week, which we don't usually do that many. I'm not brand loyal on laundry detergent, so I've picked up a lot of this stuff for um, 99 cents for um, for the Purex um, and a lot of it is 32 loads um, the Purex 3-in-1 I'd picked up because I got for 99 cents each and I was actually surprised it's really good it works very well and cleans our clothes which is all that I need I have a lot of dish soap and dishwasher detergent. I really like the finish um, tabs or gel packs. They're just easy to put right in and they clean the dishes really well and I've been able to get those for pretty cheap. Uh, over here I have quite a bit of stuff I've bought at Costco in past years. Um, stuff for cleaning, toilet paper, some paper towels, and then moving into these toiletries, all the toothpaste you see here, I don't pay for toothpaste. This is all free. A lot of the razors are free or less than a dollar. Um, all toothbrushes in here are free. Um, any chapstick or Nivea lip stuff, that's all free. Um, the baby sunscreen was very cheap. All this soap, these bars of soap here were all free. All body wash and deodorant, that's all free. Um, you never need to pay for that stuff. I have some more stuff up here. Um, different medicines and stuff that I've gotten for either free or very cheap. I have uh, back in the back, I have a dwindling cereal stockpile. I never thought I would say it was dwindling, although my mom does a pretty good job of digging into my cereal stockpile. Um, I never pay more than a dollar a box for cereal. Uh, all these pasta sides and rice sides I got for, I think they were 19 cents each, 19 or 20 cents each. Um, these cans here were from Costco from uh, a couple years ago as well as these down here. Um, and up here the pasta sauce was 50 cents each with coupons. All my my huge pasta stockpile I have here, most of it was free or um, at most 20 cents a pound uh, per pound bag. And then I have my condiments here. Um, I only buy these when they're either free or very cheap with coupons. Um, and then down here I have, we have some long-term storage that will last us for um, 25 to 30 years. We have wheat, which we grind ourselves with our Vitamixer uh, to make flour for bread. I don't, at this point in my life, I don't have a lot of time for that, but um, we do. That's the intention. So this is my stockpile. And uh, again, this is Erin Cathcart, GourmetFrugality.com, and I'll see you next week.